So the next thing we want to do is put on our propellers, or props for short. Okay. Notice we have four props here. I noticed some of them are silver on the top and some of them are black. Why is that? That's correct. Well, if you look at our motors, oh, we you have... wanted to match my spacesuit, spacecraft. Yeah, perfect. Thanks. Did you plan this? Yes, of course. <sighs> I get the when I built the ship, I, uh, you know, I knew that I needed the right <laughs> outfit. All right, go ahead. So, silver, you want to match with the silver threaded tips on the motors. Okay, so we have silver and then some are black. Oh, I see. And you want to match that up subtle. with the propeller. It is, it is subtle. Okay, so let's say you've got a silver one here, you've got a silver one All right. there. So silver, so how are we going to put this on? If you look on the prop itself, it's mm -hmm. going to show you which direction is to lock or oh, tighten the prop. Look at that. And which direction to unlock or loosen. Let's so give it a shot here. silver is clockwise. We're going to go ahead and just spin it on like so. And then what I like to do is I like to hold the motor mm -hmm. and tighten that prop up on there. Like that? Perfect. Should be good. So now you get another black one. I'll get a black one. Okay. Match it to the black motor threads. Wait, and these go on Aha, counterclockwise. See. Now is there a reason for this uh, backwards mobility? Yeah, it has to do with the direction that the motors spin. Okay. So these motors are going to spin counterclockwise, which means it's always going to keep tension on the thread. So you've got two motors essentially spinning one direction, two motors spinning the other direction to create a hover effect. That's correct. Fighting the wind. That's Very really scientific. That's really the basics of how a quadcopter or a multi-rotor works.